In this video, we will examine the total performance diagnostic, CFM override, and static pressure fields. Total performance diagnostic utilizes the static pressure field as an information only data. Static pressure information is not used in any calculations. The static pressure fields can be very useful in documenting and explaining static pressure related problems. The CFM override field, however, does affect cooling calculations when used. The cooling CFM actual field initially defaults to the maximum cooling CFM reading and uses this number to initially calculate cooling BTUs and cooling performance. Total Performance Diagnostic uses the CFM override field to change the actual default cooling CFM when better CFM information is available. To more accurately determine actual cooling CFM, use the cooling CFM calculation procedures available in Total Performance Diagnostics heating worksheets. Or, if the client is on a scheduled maintenance program, technicians can find the calculated cooling CFM by pulling up the client's winter client report using Total Performance Diagnostics Report Lookup Tool. Even if psychometrics and experience dictates that use of a standard CFM model is sufficient in most circumstances, technicians should always strive for the most accurate information available. Therefore, specific knowledge about a manufacturer's CFM fan speed settings should be utilized whenever available. There is an additional practical use for the CFM override feature. Since Total Performance Diagnostics employs a temperature correcting algorithm that represents cooling BTUs at rated capacity, any capacity reading that exceeds 100% of nominal tons is, in reality, an impossible real-world condition. Total Performance Diagnostics allows this impossible reading, however, to alert the technician to a particular problem, which is low indoor airflow. It is up to the technician to determine the severity of the airflow problem, and this is where the CFM override feature becomes very useful. By reducing the airflow number in the CFM override field and recalculating the results until the system shows approximately 93% of system capacity, technicians can quickly estimate the system's actual CFM to determine if it's still within an acceptable range of operation. The CFM override is designed to be used whenever the program shows calculated BTUs exceeding the total system BTU capacity. So, any attempt to produce a client report that shows a cooling performance of 100% or greater will produce a disclaimer box in the client report that indicates this is an impossible real-world condition. The program calculation in this field is conditionally based on other data. High cooling BTUs normally, but not exclusively, indicates low indoor airflow. To determine the actual CFM, run a total performance diagnostic heating diagnostic. To estimate the existing CFM, use the CFM adjust feature to bring the cooling BTUs within 93% of expected.